Good night. Good night. Good night. So we are going to start session number three. Vamos a comenzar la sesión número tres. Mm. There are not all the people that it is supposed to be here. We are going to start right now. Eh, vamos a ir comenzando eh, mientras los demás se van incluyendo. We are going to start session number three. Yesterday we were talking about eh, just no questions. And now we are going to have some exercises to put into um, practice all the information that we have about the uh, yes no question and the WH question. So uh, I have uh, like um, three parts, three different exercises. Uh, so we are going to see uh, some exercises that are um, like to read some information. And then I have some questions that we are going to answer. Vamos a tener en esta sesión eh, un par de ejercicios. Vamos a ejercitar la información que ya eh, tenemos eh, sobre las preguntas. Mm, solo vamos a ir ordenando. That's the main uh, thing in these exercises. Vamos a ordenar. And then I have some questions that I'm going to ask you. And it is about the use of this kind of questions. It's about the yes, no question and the open question. Así que vamos a practicar las eh, respuestas simples de sí y no y las respuestas abiertas, ¿verdad? Donde damos más información. So we are going to remember something about the uh, things that we were uh, learning yesterday. So let me share this screen. Here, but let me take this because I need this out. Okay. So uh, here we have the last conversation that we were reading uh, yesterday about the uses of the WH question and the yes, no question. So we have here our table in which we were seeing the uses of these WH words. Estas son las eh, palabras que teníamos o los inicios de nuestras preguntas que eran las que eh, nosotros estuvimos viendo ayer. The English part, the Spanish meaning, and the example of this question. So, now we are going to begin with uh, the um, exercise that we have for today because we have just one hour to uh, develop up the um, information that we have. Then after the exercise that we are going to uh, do in this uh, session, we are going to have a reading part. We are going to read an article and then we are going to read the questions that, that are in the platform. Después de los ejercicios, estos de las preguntas, vamos a leer un artículo que ustedes lo van a encontrar en la plataforma. Vamos a leer el artículo y vamos a responder esas preguntas. Esas preguntas ya las tienen en la plataforma. No sé si han llegado hasta esa parte, pero hoy lo vamos a ver y la vamos a responder. It will be better for you to, the, um, to do this uh, activity here because you are going to have the answer for that uh, questions. So we have this uh, thing that we are going to develop right now. So. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with B. Ese es el, el, el objetivo, ¿verdad? Que pueden hacer preguntas de sí o no y poder responder. So, we have the activity number one. Tenemos tres actividades para este momento. Luego tenemos preguntas y luego vamos a la reading part. So, we are going to create in this activity one, you are going to write five questions.
Van a escribir cinco preguntas con el verbo to be. So you will have time to write your five questions and then you will give me your uh, questions in the uh, chat. You are going to write them and I will make a list of the questions. Van a escribir sus preguntas, las pueden ir escribiendo directamente en el chat para mandarlas y yo las voy a ir eh, escribiendo en la pantalla. So, you have time to write your five questions using B. In this case, it is not using the WH word. It is using the verb to be to create the, uh, the questions. Preguntas con el verbo to be, no con las WH words. Okay, I have one here. Mm, good. Are you my sister? Okay, number two is Franco at home. Is she your mom? Are you my uncle? Good. Okay, are they your brothers? Is Carlos your brother? Is he a doctor? Are you on holidays? En lugar de on, is on. Are you an English student? We are going to change. Are you a, an English student? Are you busy?
Are you free? Okay. Is it your car? Are you from Spain? Oh. Are you from Spain? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, in this case, you are using the auxiliary do. In this one, do you love me? Estaba con el auxiliar do. Vamos a marcar por aquí. Hello. Five more, just five more, cinco más. Are you hungry? Good. Four more is brand your husband. Okay. Three more, just three more, tres más. We are going to have 20. Are they your children? Are they? Son ellos. Children. Do you like coffee? Um, okay, another one with do. Are they the most value people? Let me see. I need to change this. One more. Solo una más. Who will be the last one? Okay, that's the last one. Thank you, Denise. Are you tired? Muy bien. Good, thank you for your participation. That's very good. We had 20 questions. Um, two are created with auxiliary do, but the, most of them are with the verb to be. We are creating a simple questions. These are simple questions because we don't have a lot of information. Let me see. Oh. Okay. In this question, let me see. Are your lucky day? Mm, we can change. Is it? Because we are talking about one day. Is it your lucky day? Is this the tool? Dia de suerte? We can change that. So we have this question here. 
Are you my sister? Eres mi hermana. Is Franco at home? Está Franco en casa? Is she your mom? Es ella tu madre? Are you my uncle? Eres mi tío. Are they your brother? Son ellos tus hermanos? Is Carlos your brother? Es Carlos tu hermano? Is he a doctor? Es él un doctor? Are you on holidays? Estás en vacaciones? Are you an English student? Eres un estudiante de inglés? Are you busy? Estás ocupado? Are you free? Estás libre? Is your car? Es este tu carro? Are you from Spain? Eres de España? Do you love me? Me amas? Are you hungry? Estás hambriento? Is Fran your husband? Es Fran tu esposo? Are they your children? Son ellos tus hijos? Do you like coffee? Eh, ¿Te gusta el café? Are they the most valued people? In this case, we can eh, translate that question in. Eh, ¿Son ellos o son las personas más valiosas? And the last one, are you tired? ¿Estás cansado o cansada? That's very, very good. <clears throat> Then, we are going to have eh, some examples here in the activity number two. En la actividad número dos, vamos a tener unas oraciones que están mal escritas. So, you need to read them and, and then you will find the mistake. Van a encontrar el error de esas oraciones. So, I'm going to write six, six sentences in which you are going to uh, correct the uh, sentences. Let's see. Let's see. Number one. Oh, I need to put this one. I don't know if I will have some troubles with the audio because It's starting and raining here in Sulutan. So if you can hear um, my voice or you uh, find kind of um, difficult to hear, uh, you can tell me. But uh, right now it's kind of light rain. Oh. Here, 20 years old. Was she your English teacher? These are the uh, sentences. So, it is pretty obvious the mistake, but read the sentence and I will ask the correct, um, the correct structure of these sentences. Let's see. It is not really difficult to find the mistake. Let's see the mistake in the number one. Okay. I isn't at the cinema. I isn't at the cinema. What is the verb to be that we need to put in the first one? I isn't at the cinema. What is the correct verb to be for I? I am. I am, that's good. I am at the cinema. 
Estoy en el cine. I am. Eh, perdón, no se escribe en negativo. No, in this case, not. Or we can use the negative to complete the uh, structure. We have the, the vote. Both uh, expressions. So let's see. Number two. Here, 20 years old for he. What is the structure of the verb to be? He is. That's good. He is. And then we have in the, uh huh. Perfect. But in this case, it is not a question. He is 20, 20 years old. Number three. Are she your English teacher? Are she? Is she? That's good. That's good. Is she your English teacher? Good. Then we have number four. We isn't a school. Oh, let me see. We are. We are. Uh -huh. We aren't at school. Number five. Use at home. You are. You are. You are at home. Perfect. And the last one, is I your friend? Is you. Mm, I need to change the verb to be. Are you friend? Uh, a. Uh -huh. am, am I. Am I your friend? Okay. Am I your friend? That's good. Okay. For well, this exercise number two is just to find the mistake. Now, I have 14, 14 sentences that are positive ones. And you need to first write the same sentence, but in negative and in interrogative. Tengo 14 oraciones, ustedes las van a escribir en negativo y en interrogativo. La misma oración la van a transformar en negativo y en question. So, we are going to begin. You can uh, write your uh, sentences at the same time. So, let's see. We have number one. It's his dog. It's his Dog. Number two, he is Spanish. He is not from Spain. He is Spanish. They are 10 years old. Or we are from France. Number five, it is fun. Number six, she is 13 years old. Number seven, I am Italian. Number eight, you are my best friend. Number nine, he is my French teacher. Number 10, she is 14 years old.
in Lebanon, they are French. Twelve, we are at home. He is my friend. I will uh, change the list for the next page because you need to see all of these sentences. So let me take this to this one. Okay, like this. And the last one, we are at school. So here you have the uh, sentences that you need to write in a negative and in a question. So I will give you time, then I will ask for the uh, negative ones and for the questions. Okay, I'm going to uh, write the, okay, I will write the answers that you are uh, writing in the chat. So let me have this one, because uh, I have the question. Is it your dog? But we need the negative one. In negative, the first one, it is his dog. Ah, but in this case, it's not your. His. Mm, okay. And the negative one, it says it isn't his dog. Okay. The second one. He is not a Spanish. Then we have, is he Spanish? 
Okay. Let's see. Okay, and this one is we are in from, but in this case is we is not we, is they. They are in from, but in this case is this one. I'm going to search for the number three. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No, we don't have the number three. Let me, wait. Okay, now we have the number three. They aren't dangerous all. And then we have the questions, are they 10 years old? Okay, now number four, it's um, we aren't friends and are we friends? In this case, we are going to add from. We aren't from friends and then we have are we from friends number five uh -huh. number five in negative it is not fun uh-huh, that's good. It is not fun. In question? Is it fun? Is it fun? Good, amazing. Then number six is, she isn't 13 years old. She isn't. And the question, is she, mm -hmm. okay, number seven in negative. I'm not, mm -hmm. Good, and the question, am I? Number eight. Are you my best friend? Ah, that's in the question, are you? That's good. Are you my best friend? Any negative? You aren't my best friend. Good. Okay, number nine. He isn't. Okay. He isn't my French. Teacher. Any question? Is he? Mm -hmm. Is he my French teacher? Okay, number 10. Or any question? Is she? Mm -hmm. Is she? We have three, four more. Eleven. 
they aren't. They aren't French. Any question? Are they? That's good. Are they? Twelve. A negative. We aren't. That's good. We aren't. Question? Are we at home? Mm -hmm. Just two more. He is my friend. In negative? He isn't. Mm -hmm. Any question? <laughs> is he? And the last one. We are at school. In negative? Mm -hmm. We aren't at a school. And uh, the question, the last question. Are we? Mm -hmm. Are we at a school? Good. That's good. That's good. So these are the exercises that we are going to read in this uh, moment. But now we are going to hear some questions and you are going to answer. I have a lot of questions, so I will um, ask for a, a number when I am going to ask the question, because I have a lot of questions, maybe 65. 65 question in which we can uh, choose one of them and there are from different topics, but they are related to the structures that we were um, learning yesterday. Tenemos 65 preguntas, van de diferentes temas. Um, cuando vayamos a hacer la pregunta, voy a pedir un número y dependiendo de ese número, así va a ser la pregunta para la persona. So, I will need to, let me see, no va a ser la primera persona en responder, sino que va a ser la persona que me va a dar el primer número de la pregunta. So, I need, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Jocelyn, give me a number. Just a number. Same. Ten. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, now I will ask the question number 10 to Denise. Are you ready? Yes. No, the thing. The okay, the, no, the question number 10 says, what do you like to eat for breakfast? What do you like to eat for breakfast? ¿Qué le gusta comer para el desayuno? My, um, Cereal. Oh, cereal. Eh, coffee. Mm -hmm. eh, and that, no, no. Okay, good. Give me a number. Un número. A, no, a number. Mm -hmm. eh, Six, okay. Okay, let me see who is the next one. Claudia. Claudia.
I think not. Okay, let's see. Eduardo. Diga. Okay, question number six. What is your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show, programa de televisión favorito. My favorite TV show is que la verdad no tengo un programa en específico que me guste ver porque casi no veo tele. Okay, okay. Okay. Good. Tell me a number. Un número. Eleven. Eleven, okay. Henry. Hello. Hello. Question number 11 says, what is your favorite sport if you had one? ¿Cuál es su deporte favorito si tiene un deporte favorito? Yes, um, my favorite is... Um, and repeat the question, please, teacher. What is your favorite sport? Okay, my favorite sport is in the basketball. I like. Oh, that's good. You really like basketball. Okay, thank you. Give me a number. Me number two. Two. Okay. Let's see. Jocelyn. Yes, teacher. Question number two. Say, in your free time, what do you like to do? ¿Qué le gusta hacer en su tiempo libre? In my free time, I like read books, watch okay. TV, listen music, and Okay, thank you. Again, Jocelyn, give me another number. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Mm. Jose Adán. Hello. Hello. Question number 12 said, if you could be an animal for a day, what would you be and why? Si pudiera ser un animal por un día, ¿cuál sería y por qué? Uh -huh. I am, um, I use uh, animal, um, lion. Uh -huh, lion. Is, so, la, lion is a, a force. It, it's pill. Ah, okay, okay, good. Give me a, num a, a number. Um. Uh, 20. 20. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Jose Rigoberto. Okay. The question said, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where will it be? ¿A dónde le gustaría viajar si pudiera viajar a cualquier lugar del mundo? I always uh, want to to know, want to travel to Japan. Oh, good. I, I think this culture is very is, uh, expressive. I like anime. I love Naruto. Oh, good. That's good. Okay. Give me a number. Five. Five. Okay, 
Let's see. Juan Antonio. Hi. Hello. The question said, what is your favorite book if you have one favorite book? ¿Cuál es su libro favorito si tiene un libro favorito? Uh, uh, my favorite book is uh, bueno, si no tengo ninguno <laughs> ok, that's good <laughs> well, give me a number uh, number three Three. Okay. And this is, I guess, the last uh, question for Victor Manuel. Hi. Hello. Mm, the question said, what is your favorite movie? Su película favorita. Uh, my favorite movie is... Uh... Avatar. Oh, okay. Avatar. Good. Thank you. So, um, I will send to you the document in which you can find the 65 questions that we have uh, as example of the topic that we were developing. Um, there are questions about our daily life, our questions about family, our questions about a uh, school also. Um, uh, we have also questions about a uh, built uh, learning. Uh, we have questions about uh, things that we uh, know. Uh, there are many different questions. Uh, so I will send the document. If, in this case, is because um, you can read the questions and you can practice those questions with uh, your uh, partners or classmates in this case. And there are from different topics to put into practice the information that you have about the question. So in this moment, we are going to end the part of the questions because we need to change that information for the reading part. Now we are going to read an article. Vamos a leer el artículo. Ya es la última parte, ya es, it's almost 10 minutes to end the session. We are going to read the following article and then we are going to uh, see the questions that are in the platform. Vamos a ver las preguntas que están en la plataforma sobre ese artículo. That is uh, the one that we are going to read. So you need to pay attention if you are not uh, doing the exercise yet. Si no han hecho el ejercicio, pues vamos a poner atención a lo que son las respuestas. Then you are going to respond on the platform. So we have here the article and it says the objective. In this lesson, participants will be able to read an article and to answer some comprehension questions. So we have here, I need to do it bigger because it is hard to read. So. We have here, what is, what is a name? What is in a name? What is in a name? And it says, look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? Está preguntando sobre los nombres. Dice que vamos a ver los nombres que aparecen en el artículo y que si conocemos personas con esos nombres, cómo son o cómo lucen. And it says, your name is very important uh, when you think of yourself. You probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very uh, positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. 
Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Básicamente nos está hablando de los nombres populares y los nombres no populares. Dice que en Estados Unidos en ese momento los nombres populares eran Jacob y Emily. ¿Qué? ¿Por qué se hacen eh, populares? Por eh, actores, eh, programas de televisión, libros y los personajes que ahí aparecen. Eh, los nombres populares eh, sugieren una cosa positiva y los que no son populares pues una cosa negativa. Tenemos una pequeña lista de nombres. Boys names, George, Average, Boring. Dice que es un poco mm, aburrido. Jacob, Creative and Friendly, Creativo y Amigable. Michael, Good Looking and Athletic. Michael significa o oh, nos da la, la opinión de que es eh, alguien que se ve bien y que es atlético. Stanley, Nerdy and Serious, que es eh, lo que nosotros conocemos como nerd, ¿verdad? Y serio. Girl's name, los nombres de las niñas. Betty o Betty. Old fashioned average. Es como un nombre viejo pasado de moda. Then it says Emily, independent, adventurous. Es independiente y aventur aventurera. Jane, plain, ordinary. Es algo ordinario y no tiene mucho de dónde sacar, ¿verdad? And Nicole is beautiful and intelligent. Bonito e inteligente. So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? ¿Por qué los padres le dan nombres que no son populares? And it says, the biggest reason is tradition. Es la tradición, ¿verdad? Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty's out there. Dice que los nombres eh, que no son populares puede que lleguen a ser populares en el futuro. So, let's see. I will search for the questions. Vamos a buscar las preguntas que aparecen en lo que es eh, la plataforma. Let's see the question about the eh, article about the names. Let's see. Let's see. Is charging. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. It's charging the questions. Okay, we have the questions. And it says, we have true or false, verdadero o falso. It says, your name is a part of your identity. Tu nombre es parte de tu identidad, verdadero o falso. It is true or it is false. What do you think? It's true. It's true, right? Because at the beginning of the article, it says that is very important. And when you think about yourself, you probably think of your name first. It's part of your identity. Then number two, it says, people often feel the same way about a particular name. Las personas eh, muy comúnmente, ¿verdad? sienten de la misma manera acerca de un nombre particular. Nos sentimos, ¿verdad? De la misma manera acerca de un nombre particular. It is true or false? That we feel the same way. What do you think? It's very complicated to think about this question. But in this case, like we have in the survey, eh, tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? El, lo que hicieron, ¿verdad? El conteo de los nombres populares. Si sí nos sentimos a veces de la misma manera eh, con los nombres, que nos atrae ese nombre, no nos gusta, eh, sentimos que es bonito, entonces puede que sea cierto. Then, number three. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. What do you think? It is true or is false? Los nombres de los niños son más populares que los de las niñas. It's false. It's false. 
Mm, maybe. But you need to read the list of the names. Van a leer la lista de los nombres y van a ver si hay más um, opiniones negativas o positivas sobre los nombres. That's one clue. So, number four. It says, people are often named after family members. Las personas son nombrados después o basados en los eh, miembros de la familia. True or false? True. True. There are a lot of people that have their names based on a member of the family. And the last one, opinions about names can change. Las opiniones acerca de los nombres pueden cambiar. True or false? Yes, when I know the people, I, I change my mind. Ah, uh -huh. we can change our opinions about the names. So those are the five questions that you will find in the platform. Son cinco preguntas nada más. Las que van a ustedes a encontrar en la plataforma sobre ese artículo de los nombres. Ya las leímos, ya analizamos un poco las, las preguntas. Ahora ustedes solo las tienen que contestar y ya van a saber si están correctas o no sus opiniones, right? So, you will find it in the, the part eh, 1.14, reading exercise, what, what in a name. We have read the article, so it is not necessary that you read the article again, but if you want to, you can do it. So, that's the last part. Um, for this uh, session. Tomorrow is the end of the week number one. Time flies. Mañana terminamos la semana número uno. El tiempo va súper, súper rápido. Así que si no han comenzado a trabajar en la plataforma, eh, necesitan comenzar a hacerlo. El tiempo va pasando muy rápido. No se siente, no se nota. En some cases. But uh, tomorrow is the last day of the first uh, week. Tomorrow I will send you this uh, link for this document in which you will find all the information that we are developing in the classes. And also I will send to you the list of questions. But the list of questions I will send to you today. So um, after the, uh, the session, I will send the document to the uh, WhatsApp group. So. Now, uh, we are going to uh, end the session here and we are going to see uh, each, we are going to see each other tomorrow. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow in the last session for this week number one. So good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.